Hi, my name is Nzambi, Nzambi Mate, and this is Jijenge. So today we are going to have a change in, of scenery and also move our focus point from the commercial and the factory side, the production, into our households because uh, we have post-consumer plastic which essentially is what we produce, the plastic waste we produce in the household setup. So with me here in this box, uh, together with my team, we have collected just a few samples um, of various uh, most common types of plastic uh, and plastic types that you can get um, in the in the household and uh, these are not the only ones there are many but uh, these are a good to start with and stay tuned for more in-depth information on the various steps so let's jump on to the basics so in the packaging space so there is um, ideally seven types of plastic or rather seven categories number one is PET, PET that is polyethylene tetraphylate and this is an example of PET, this is the first grade. Uh, so ideally speaking, it's the takeaway boxes and your soft drinks, uh, maybe juice, sodas, ideally speaking water, the containers, this is PET. Moving on to the second one. The second one is HDPE. HDPE is high density polyethylene. And uh, examples are these. So this is uh, my personal favorite plastic, if I may say so, because it's uh, easily recyclable and also reusable, or rather you can upscale it. So the most common uses is mostly in detergents, like for example, Jig, Hapik, and also you can use it in, uh, in the kitchen space or rather in the food space, yogurts. So this is, uh, this is a really good plastic, especially for, for prevention, because the, the density is strong, uh, or rather the texture is strong, so it's not uh, as uh, squishy as PET. PET is relatively squishy, but HDP is not that squishy and also it holds chemicals very well because it doesn't react that easily. Moving on to the other category is LDPE. LDPE, we at the moment don't have um, an example of LDPE, but stay tuned. Uh, when we do more detailed uh, breakdowns of the plastic, we will have uh, an example of it. So that's number three. Now let's move to number four. So number four and number six, those ones are mostly used in the utility setup. Still in the household, but uh, utility, or I mean uh, piping area, uh, pipings and packagings of maybe TV. So for example, like number four is um, PVC, that's poly polyvinyl chloride. And ideally speaking is the ones with the toilet breathers. Those are PVCs and the green pipes, the green water pipes, those are PVCs. So also when we do a breakdown of PVC, I will show you more on that. So stay tuned for, for that episode two. And then the other one, the number six is uh, uh, polystyrene. So as essentially it's the styrofoam. And we also don't have a sample here, but I'll show you on the breakdown. So that leaves us with number five. So number five is what we call PP polypropylene and these are examples of polypropylene so ideally speaking is also like you can find in yogurts like for example this um, Dalamea container this yogurt container is polypropylene and also hair products like for example this um, hair oil the beauty with polypropylene especially in the kitchen is uh, it's easy to use it in the microwave it's um, microwavable, if I may say so, as compared to this. This is PET. This, this don't put this in the microwave. It will, um, what in uh, Kikuyu they say, shukushura. this is what will happen to this. So that is what PP is for. It's, it's, uh, easy, it's an easy packaging and also it's good for the microwave. It, it's also in the um, setup, in the hair, hair care product setup, uh, because it can withstand the, the if, if there's any like chemical reactions and all that stuff it can withstand all uh, being light and being easy to make so the final category is what is termed as others so others in summary is anything that is not uh, number one to number six uh, and it's in the packaging space it's put under others and in the household space a good example of others is this just to note this is not a hundred percent plastic it is a mixture of different uh, different uh, materials. So we have outside here, this is a cardboard. Inside we have aluminum, 
we have a layer of plastic and also the cup is uh, plastic. So when we refer to this as a category of others, put in focus, we are looking more in terms of the plastic and not the other materials. So when you open up this, it ideally looks something like this. So this is how it looks inside. So you can see this is the layer of uh, aluminum. And then on top of that layer, so you have the cardboard, the, um, the cardboard, this is it. And then we have the aluminum, and then we have a thin layer. It's, it's not, I don't know if you can really see it, but let me try and separate, see if you can see. So there's a really small thin layer of plastic. That. So the idea, uh, and also there's this one now. This is uh, this is the other type of plastic within the Tetra Pak setup. So as far as recycling is concerned, this is a really good uh, product um, in, in terms of uh, sustainability. It's a really good product. Um, the challenge with this, uh, and speaking from a recycler's point of view, is the separation. Because you have this, the, the cardboard paper, you have the aluminum foil, and you have the plastic. So those are three different materials that when it comes to recycling, they need different uh, uh, methodologies. And so the separation is actually the hardest part. But in terms of application and sustainability, this is a really good product. When we come to the top, so this is uh, HDPE. So this top, just like the top in, uh, in the PET. So most, most tops and closures. So when you say closures, this is what we mean. We mean this seal and this um, top. So these ones are ideally speaking the same plastic as this. Both of them are HDPE, but this is a different plastic. So when you see this bottle, this is a different plastic, this is a different plastic. And this plastic is the same plastic as here, and it's the same plastic as here. So those are three different applications of the same type of plastic, which is grade two. So that's just in like a, a brief summary. It's once again not uh, really um, detailed and uh, in terms of research is not uh, like in depth. But the idea was just to provide a brief um, introduction and a brief uh, foundation in terms of the knowledge of the different plastics. And we will go into in depth in later series of the different plastics and what's their chemical reaction, how do they deal with, and when it comes to recycling, reusing, and reducing. So stay tuned for that.